everyone, Hungry Reader here. You hear that sizzle? You smell that salty smell? It must be time for Strip Club! Few comic strips in our lifetime have ever been as influential as The Far Side. You know, you could probably devote a whole show, not just a show within a show like Strip Club, but a whole YouTube channel to all the uh, various Far Side ripoffs. Just going from memory, you've got things like Herman, and then things like, oh, the Geeky Brothers, and really good ones like Brevity, and really bad ones like In the Bleachers. But I've got one here that's really unique in its own way, for better or for worse. It's called The Quigmans. The Quigmans is unique for multiple reasons. One of the biggest ones is that the illustrator, Buddy Hickerson, can only sort of draw. Or at least you can only sort of draw in this first book. Ironically, in later books, when he started getting better at drawing, I started to lose interest. Hickerson's lack of drawing ability is what makes him distinctive. In this first book, what he does is he draws badly very well, if that makes any sense. The phrase the Quigmans has two meanings. The first is just the cartoons themselves. An individual cartoon is called a Quigman. But it also means the small cast of recurring characters in the strip. The major star is Bob Quigman, who I think is one of the most 80s looking drawings I've ever seen. And then there's Francine, Bob Quigman's love interest, who I don't think is a specific woman. I think he just calls any woman that he's with Francine. And then there's Jowls the dog, who is rarely ever identified by name, and when he is, he's usually in the position of not a actual dog, but an anthropomorphic animal that might as well be Bob Quigman anyway. When it's at its best, the Quigmans is really good, and soon you'll learn how to recognize which ones are at their best, but let's have a look at a few of the best ones. Poorly planned a diner holdup. Get back everyone, or I'll blow the paper off the end of this straw! No, no, Bob! I believe you have the instructions confused with those of the harmonica. I told you an unfixed male cat will spray. A chilling scene from the elephant dog. Stop laughing at me! I'm not a human being! I'm an animal! I'm an animal! Hi! I've surrounded your house with dry kindling and a light patina of kerosene, and a fellow campfire girl with a matchbook is awaiting my signal. Care to buy some cookies? A few things you'll notice about the Quigmans first off. For one thing, it was clearly drawn in 1989. Toys are USSR! Featuring Ukrainian Barbie and her dream gulag! And Muscovite Ken and his sturdy shoes! And now we'd like to introduce our choice for Puppet of the Year, the entire Chilean Parliament! Ah, political humor of the 80s. Once you surf Wikipedia a little while, it's funny stuff! Another interesting thing about the Quigmans is the way the captions work. They seem to be reversed in that he'll give you the premise at the top, often sort of floating overhead in big letters like someone was yelling it. Truck taste test! Well, mm, the Dodge is crunchier, but, mm, mm, but the Ford mm, is more pleasing to the palate. Involuntary fireman! I don't know, Doc. Every now and then this hat and stuff just show up. Just as often, under those headings, you'll see just a big list of jokes for when he got tired of drawing. Make your mother mad theme park! Drink from the bottle refreshment stand! Jump on the furniture thrill ride! Oh, Stand in front of the open refrigerator! Track mud on the carpet maze! Cool. Ride on the wall! Finally, there are two unsung heroes to this book who are thankfully acknowledged on the copyright page. Notice, if you happen to see an occasional Beside the signature of Buddy Hickerson, do not panic. This merely denotes a Quigman who was written by his collaborator, Mike Stanfill, a creature of pinkish hue and neurotic demeanor. Over the course of this book, you will see the evolution of Mike Stanfill's uh, collaboration. At first, he's just signified with that weird symbol. And then in some later strips, it actually says Hickerson slash Stanfill as he is upgraded to full-time partner. But his final form, for a while at least, was the single bitterest man on the planet. Apparently, Mike Stanfill and Buddy Hickerson had a falling out, and Mike Stanfill grabbed thequigmans.com. 
Stanfield has taken down his Buddy Hickerson slam site now, so hopefully they've patched things up. And then there's Shirley, the hidden star of the Quigmans. Special thanks to Shirley, who appears twice in this book. Flip through the book and you'll see Shirley twice. Then when you're 13, a mysterious thing happens once a month, Shirley. You begin to receive a MasterCard bill. Shirley possessed a turbocharge card. If you want to meet Shirley, I suggest checking your local credit counseling station.